What's a good guy? Is your man a good guy? Is your pops a good guy? Is your baby father a good guy? Are you a good guy? Are you a good guy? What's a good guy? A weekly conversation unpacking all the variables and life lessons that go into making a good guy in today's society. Tune in to What's a Good Guy every Monday at 8 a.m. on SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube and answer the world's greatest question. What's a good guy? Don Peasley knows where I'll be at. My man's be chilling in these streets. You got to get with the program, man. Times have changed, bro. <laughs> What's this guy, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm great. <sighs> you and these homophobic thoughts, man. Yeah, man. You got to chill out with that, bro. I'm fucking. We all live, though. Um... Yo, top of the morning, bruv. Um, them ways. Mind them on road. You get me? Um, you already know this motherfucker. It's your most favorite lover, as always. Don Peasley. That's how they would say it out there? I don't know how they would say it. I'm trying to, like... I don't know. Alongside a lash on. Um, That's what they would say. <laughs> That's what they have said. So, uh, who says that? What they the say, man, No, in Paris. In Paris <laughs> the, the, Mr. Lash on. <laughs> But, um, I don't know who you put a lashing on, but <laughs> that's what it sound like. Um, it's November. You ain't putting a lashing on nobody, but um, no nut, November. So when they say no nut, can I tell people your shout outs for them? For wait, us? I just want to clarify first. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it still being me? Like, no, that counts, bro. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> I can't like, take a is break. It, is it no nuts through like sexual intercourse or like I have to like yeah, no nothing. <laughs> I ain't gonna front though. No. I ain't gonna front. Who made up? All jokes aside, bro, my shit gonna swell like a volleyball, bro. No <laughs> way, <laughs> bro. No sir, not me. Wait, hold on, hold on. How you about to Google it? Nah, how many days is in this month? A lot, bro. Thirty days. Thirty days, and this is like. What's the second week? Oh. <laughs> well, I already broke it because <laughs> it was over for me a long time ago, bro. I, I broke it through masturbation. I just want to clarify that. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, don't get some like a handshake. <laughs> I, was, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I was I was wondering why I took a forearm was so big. <laughs> straight up, I'm like listen, I don't need no pussy from you. <laughs> Well, um, thanks for supporting us. <laughs> self love. I'm out of here, bro. This is the best self love I had in a while, bro. Yo, bro. You know how crazy times has gone for me, bro. Before I beat off, bro, I light a candle. <laughs> <laughs> nigga set the mood. Nigga set. Eyes. Before before they even put his drawers down, nigga light a candle. That's a fact. All right. That's a fact. <laughs> Bro, 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 listen. I ain't listen. gonna that. That's a, that's a, oh, that shit weird. Listen. I ain't gonna lie, weird. I use, I, I use the heavy blanket to apply like pressure. On my <laughs> nigga, 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 put, nigga put the heavy blanket on his leg like he, like the bitch riding him. <laughs> oh, <nah. laughs> you a freak. <laughs> I make sure. Oh, what is going on today, bro? I make sure I got the light and I dim the light. <laughs> Right of fact, if I'm really in my bag, I just turn the light off and let the candles be the light. And I wait till like the scent is like in the air now, so it's potent. So I feel it, I can feel it. Cause you know what it is called? It's called stress and relief. But when I masturbate, it's stress and relief and release. So <laughs> I, <laughs> so it's no longer relief. It's a release, bro. And it's a it's a different vibe nut into a candle with the candle burning. And it's just like if I'm in the crib alone, I just I just put the porn on the Bluetooth. <laughs> That's its vibe, right, bro? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's keeping me from fucking all the wrong people in life, bro. So I respect it, though. You know what I'm saying? So you know, so you still out here being me before you go to parties? Mm-mm. You know what? I I've never done that because I've never like had an opportunity to leave with somebody. Well, no, I'm lying. I did have an opportunity, but mm-hmm. no, y'all I be sure, y'all don't show up together. But she texts you when she go. She when she ready to go. I never had that. I never had that. But I be too so tired. I be ready to go home. I be sleep. I sleep in the fucking club. 
Oh yeah, you were asleep yesterday. Yo, shout out to shout out to Berto, yeah, Marcus, and um, and Kojo. Facts. Yo, the show is definitely. Yeah, yeah, knocked out, bro. That's regular, though. I don't I know mean, why niggas expect like this thing to be. You expect like, me to stay up? The life of the party all the time. Like, no, yeah, life of what? Probably probably his birthday. Birthday and New Year's. Yeah, probably. I didn't sleep. Yeah, birthday. my birthday, I didn't sleep. Do that. I stayed up for the whole thing. Yeah, you actually went to sit down. Yeah, niggas, 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 niggas standing on couches drinking um, Melinda. I, 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 li- I like standing on couches. It yeah, makes it's it, fun. It gives it's me the... A little, uh, like, little tall. Yeah, the little tall, man. A little height I always needed. But um, shout out to all y'all subscribing, liking, commenting, doing all this shit y'all do every week. We do appreciate y'all. Facts. Don't episode. forget to hit that like button and yes. subscribe button please, right please, now. Please hit that, that like and subscribe. Pause it. Pause it. You don't even got to pause. It's right, all right come back. Let's go. Yeah, um, bet. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you have it. If you know somebody that's listening to it, you, you suggested this to them. Tell them like it and subscribe mm-hmm. it. If you're listening for the first time listeners, shout outs to you. Down, for our day, bro, our day one listeners, bro, shout outs to not, you. It's not a jerk off session, bro. Slow down, bro. No. Oh, no. I let that shit. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> I, I, I let that shit. <laughs> I let that shit rock, bro. I take 20 second time out, so I feel it coming like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't ready yet. I ain't oh, ready yet. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. This nigga is filthy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I let my hand go. I watch it a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay. I actually get to see the woman. Like, oh, shit. She's lit. I am ready to go again. Nah, I can't. As soon as I gotta train myself, you know what I'm saying? I gotta train myself. I see it as practice. <laughs> Do your thing, Iverson. <laughs> you, bro. This nigga is wilding. Bro. Masturbation is my practice. Bro. Yo, okay. What should I talk? I'm subscribe, like, and comment. Do it. What should I do every week? Um, it's a new month. Well, it's, it was we like two weeks into the month, but yeah, um, facts. We spreading. We speaking positivity into this month. Um, Absolutely. peace, success. <laughs> Um, uh, see, um, I don't want to say, but seasonal depression is. It's kicking in. Yeah, well, has it for hit you me? Kind of, but I'm battling it. Before I didn't really battle it. It was just like, okay, let's do it. But now it's like you know, trying to beat it. Shit. It's not easy. Good luck. Somebody get the beat, son. Um, beat my dick, man. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why we keep talking about. I, I, don't know. I think we're done talking about beating beating um meats. Self care, man. Self love, man. Today, um, uh, I don't even. We don't even know what's going on. Today. I took I took the first step of self love. Like yes, overall yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I went to therapy. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sir. I went to therapy, man. Um, My fault. You, you gotta damn. You gotta add that part. What happened? Uh, what? There was something that uh. Led me mm. to um go on to therapy. I was having a conversation with somebody, right? Mm. Oh, I had a question. Um, go ahead. Did you? Is it from the insurance from work? So it's not directly through the insurance. They just provide seven free sessions, the and I never knew that. the job. Yeah, you seven. Free, you lying, motherfucker! I've, I just they found do seven free sessions. So the way it's set up for me, if I map it out correctly, I can end the year. With seven sessions and not pay a dollar, I could end the year like once, like a nice little once. Once a week, once, once a week, week type joint. Week joint. Yeah, I'm gonna do once a week type joint, and um, I could end the year, and then when the year starts, I get another seven again. So I could do fourteen straight therapy sessions for free. So I figure, <laughs> why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Well, was it wasn't okay. Continue. Who well, was the therapist? Uh, it was a gender. It's a black woman. Yeah, and it was important that I got a black woman it because like a, like it was like a mother type figure. She, yeah, she definitely got that vibe. That's she good. got the That's she good. now you know what vibe she got. She got like the uh, the hood auntie. That's great. Yeah, she got the hood auntie, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you all about it, right? <laughs> so I'm having this conversation with somebody, and I'm trying to express myself in a way where like I'm telling them how I feel, how they're making me feel, and it became an argument. And I'm like, nah, this is the you last. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't argue. I, uh, well, no, it became an argument. And but usually I don't argue with women. But you know, you argue, I argued, man. So it was, it, it, it was one of those. It was one of those. Like I, this is my breaking point. Not necessarily her, her in itself, but it was like I came to the realization that. Talking to people about them, Mm -hmm. I realized that it may be, it's either my delivery or like I just keep getting misunderstood. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? Let me speak to somebody who's a professional about this. Mm -hmm. Because it was like all the women in my life this year, um, 
I've had a problem communicating myself. Every time I said something about how they personally made me feel, mm. it was more, it became about them. And then it's like, why am I defending how I feel? If this is how you make me feel, how are you arguing? Why, why are we, <laughs> how are we arguing about, you know what I'm saying? So well, it, was, it, was, it was two things for me. It was either, because remember, I remember there was a point in time where I said, like, sometimes it's not the, uh, it's not the message, it's the shipper. Mm. So I'm like, maybe it's me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I felt. I'm like, yo, maybe it's me. Because now I'm reflecting. Um, me and my mom are in a better place, but I, I'm, I'm thinking like, damn, even when I, sometimes when I still talk to her now, it's like, but Sean, it's, you do this, you do that. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, listen to me. Like, y- y'all are replying. My sister... Come to find out, she's in school now to be a a, a psych major. She's him. focusing on mental health. Um, me personally, tell, they, them, tell them bring that shit in the crib. They they incite my they in psych majors are very difficult because you feel like you're a fucking case study, mm. and you never know if they gaslighting you. So that's always been my issue with dating psych majors. But shout out to my sister. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, the, the relationships that I've had this year with while being in a serious relationship or even dating or trying to date and stuff like that is a difficult... I'm always facing this wall mm-hmm. of, like, if you do something to me mm-hmm. and I say it to you that you're doing this to me, mm-hmm. like, you know, if you're poking me <clears throat> and I'm telling you, yo, you're poking me mm-hmm. and it's inflicting some sort of, sort of damage... Mm-hmm. Why are we arguing about you? Like, yo, you poking me. What is this? Like, look. <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> so it's like, I bet. Fuck it. <clears throat> Fuck it. Then that Sunday comes, and my mom was like, <clears throat> when we recorded the Halloween episode, my mom was just like, nah. Mm-mm. So it was that. Then it led to the, 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 uh, the discussion. And then it was like, you know what? I had, um, I remember that I saw Tyra, shout out to Tyra one day shout from Tyra. after work, and she told me that she's in therapy. And I'm like, Tyra bubbly ass in te- therapy? And she was like, nah, she's in relationship therapy. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, my bad, uh, <laughs> Tyra. I love you, though. Uh, Too much pressure? Uh, but yeah, Tyra said she's in That's relationship therapy. So I said, yeah, that, that was good, dope. Because I'm like, friends. I'm like. If I, all of the relationships I had, that that should have been something that yeah. I should have considered, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. But she was like, yeah, we get seven free. Huh? What? Niggas didn't tell me that. That's what I'm saying. That's so, gonna be tight. so when she told me about it, she gave me the number the same night and everything. But at that point in time, like things were going good for me. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really use it. That's crazy. Don't but then... Nah, nah, it literally was a couple yeah. weeks ago. Nah, but they always said the family shit. They never brought up you like... It's just regular therapy for you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You always yeah. Run with all family, like family services, all that shit. Like, yeah, nah, this is really individual shit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, cool. So my back's against the wall, and I and I don't like that. I um, like I have to get out of the habit of waiting till things go bad to finally make things right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, whatever. Life pushed me to that direction, and um. And there was something, there's something that I was like trying to cope with, mm-hmm. but I did, I don't like, I'm not really ready to like talk about it. I don't think I will ever talk about it mm-hmm. because it's just one of those like coping things. But with the therapist, I was able to speak about it and I felt like, oh, I felt really good about it. But let me tell you the the process. So I called and they were just asking me, first they were asking me like, if is this like an emergency, you know, call 911 instead, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, call 911 for what, bro? Like, even if I was suicidal, like, you should hear me out first instead of me calling well, call 911. You know what? Okay, that means you don't, okay. Yeah, you don't you care know about what I'm me saying? either. Goodbye. So I think they should like work on that. Yeah, nigga. But, <clears throat> so yeah, so, me, so what they did was they, they asked for my zip code. Mm-hmm. And they told me everything in my uh, what's in my area, and they asked me if I wanted like, um, did I do I care about the gender? Do I care about the race? And I said yes, I want a black woman. And they were like, do you mind? I was like, my struggles are with black women. I want to talk to one. I want to talk to one. You know, I, I I don't. There's not. I'm not as much as it would have been dope to have like a black man. I think a black woman. I'm trying to understand women. 
in a in a in a in a way where like how do I speak to one? You think because I don't know. I, I'm not at this point. I'm not sure if it's me on the way I'm delivering it or like people are just naturally defensive. You think you'll get that from the um, therapist? I will hope so. The understanding of a black woman. I will hope so because she's a black woman. But nah, but because um, certain therapists they really just ask you like how you feeling. They don't want to. So like, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get into that right. So boom. I go, I go, um, so I schedule the appointment, and she goes, uh, Saturday at, at 12. I said, I right, bet, I'm there, I'm ready, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get my life together, I'm feeling good about it, but at the same time, I'm not expecting too much. You gotta stop doing that. Because I'm one of those people. stop that. I don't, nigga, I don't. I don't talk to her about that too, though. I don't get excited for things because. For disappointment. The, for disappointment. And when I do, every time I do, something, something fall, bad fall, happens, fall right? Mm-hmm. Like, so like, for example, that same week leading up to therapy, I um, got this event to like uh, the Charlemagne shit. He was, he was doing a speaking, right? And I call out of work. I'm like, I bet. I ran into Charlemagne at the Brooklyn Revolt Summit, mm. and he saw me, right? He saw me in Scrails, but he saw the hoodie. Mm. He was like, what's a good guy? That's your clothing line? I said, nah, it's a podcast. It's my podcast. I do it with my brother, this, that, and third. We talk about life topics, this, that, and third. I said all the things that we talked about recently. He was like, yo, that's really dope. I said, we've been trying to get you on the show since year one when you did your first book. Mm. He was like, he, he was like, where's your phone? Takes my phone. He put his manager's email in my phone. Mm. He says, email her and I'll be on your show. Say that. <laughs> oh, oh, say, she, oh, I, say less. Say, say less. Oh, say less. <laughs> so I'm like, I bet mm. it's lit. <laughs> Nigga, heavy. I was mad. That shit had me tight. I get home. I construct this email. It has pie charts, videos, <laughs> links, names, addresses. It's, it's, it's mad attachments. It's mad attachments. <laughs> Resume, birth, con- I mean birth control, <laughs> birth certificates. <laughs> it had everything. I was like, yo, if you need a writer, let us know. We'll have it taken care. It's like legit, right? <laughs> no response. So I'm like, all right, bet it's the manager's game. Somebody, up. somebody knows uh, the manager personally. The person hits up the manager for me, like, "Yo, my brother's reached out for the uh, to do Charlemagne do a podcast." Yeah, we got it. We're gonna get back to them as soon as the schedule clears up. Blah blah blah. This is like, I think the revolt summer was like July. July. Yeah. yeah, it's about July, yeah. right? So up to now, I didn't hear anything. So I said, "Fuck it." This is another opportunity. I'm going to go. I'm going to wear the same fucking hoodie. Matter of fact, I got an extra one. So I'm going to give him the fucking hoodie, right? So even if, like... Throw that shit on the fucking... In the breakfast club, you see yeah, the fish? Yeah, shit You see the fucking We still, still got to run up on him and give him that Yeah, but last time nigga yeah, ran yeah, up on him, yeah. nigga had a drop. So yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's, like, nigga, yeah, PTSD yeah. about that shit. That was one of the things I would want to ask him. Like, yo, how do you... Ever since the drop shit, like, how, niggas, how, niggas how, how do you feel about people approaching you, right? So, boom. We talk about that song. I get to I get to World Trade. I get to the world. It was at the World Trade Center, right? But the Eventbrite said floor to be determined. So I get there. I'm showing them the 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 floor. I mean, I'm showing them the Eventbrite. I'm showing them my identification. I know it's the World Trade Center, so it's like top notch security and shit like that. So I'm showing that everything match and it's in cahoots. And I'm in the building of where. The the event it's the event host building. Mm. So say it was the what's it was hosted by what's a good guy and what's a good guy has a building in World Trade. I'm mm. in the what's a good guy building. So how you telling me you don't know about the event? The, the fucking fuck the, the, the fucked up part is you could have got into that building. Huh? You know somebody that works in that building. I do? Yeah. Alright, we talk about that off air. Can we say who it is? No? I I'll tell you. I I I so you, so I boom. So boom, right? It's, it's the What's a Good Guy building, right? Mm-hmm. Say it's the What's a Good Guy building. It's a What's a Good Guy... Yeah, Ross. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a What's a Good Guy building, right? Mm-hmm. And the event is there. And I'm like, yo, like, it's a, how do you not know about this event? And it says, your com- like, your company's on the wall. Like, mm-hmm. it's literally on the wall. It was like, yo, we can't let you in. So I make a phone call, and it was like, yo, it's for employees only. So I'm like, damn. 
at that point, I'm like, pay for parking. I paid for parking. Yes. I paid for gas. Well, I needed the gas anyway, right? But I didn't go to work. I paid for gas. I get back to the to the thing when I it was like um, ten dollars for the first hour, right? Cool. I get there, I put in the little ticket shit, shit thirty dollars. I'm like, yo, what do you mean? Oh, it's ten, um, it's ten dollars for the first hour before six. I'm like, yo, brother, six oh one, my nigga. Like it's six oh fucking one. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's thirty dollars. I mean, <clears throat> granted, it's an extra twenty, but like, I ain't want to spend that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or if I was going to spend it, at least I had the Something. opportunity. Something to show for it, though. Show for it, right? So going home, I felt like wild defeated, and I kept saying, "This is why I don't get excited for the shit." Like I live in the present moment. Did you think about um, giving that person that you called the sweater to give to him, or you wanted to give it to him personally? Yeah, because I wanted him to remember. Like, 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 he might not until I feel like, as far as visual memory, you'll he sees, remember. Yeah, he sees a lot of people, so yeah, so it's like you're gonna visually remember, mm-hmm. you know? So, boom. So, I go home, I'm pissed, bro. Lost a day of work, paid $30 for parking, and I am never gonna be too bougie for halal food, but it didn't slap. So, like, this, what'd you, like, what'd you get? Chicken over rice? Lamb over rice. With the man. white sauce and white it didn't no, no sl- hot sauce or nothing, just white sauce on it. Just the white sauce. It was no nut. I was, I was, uh, you know. I- <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see his therapist. Man. <laughs> but for real though, so I'm like fucking pissed, bro. I'm pissed. So I'm like, yo, I'm I'm tired of like getting my hopes up for shit. Like, and and I was so confident that I wasn't gonna be passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't going to be like, you know, hey, man, you remember me? Nah, I was going to pull up. Yo, this, that, and the third. You remember me? Gave me a manager's email. I'm going to show you the email. I had it all scripted. Like, I was going to move in a way where it's like, damn, son. Like, everybody would have been like, yo, LA, I'm proud of you for like. That, that, that key like, moment. Yeah. Like, I was going to take control of, like, that was going to be my moment. And then it was like, <sighs> Nope, not today. But I thought like I had the mindset, like I was speaking over, I was confident. And it was like when you build yourself up and then be let down, it's like, yeah, at least I know the next time I have the confidence to do it or I know I'm capable of it, you, but I had it for that moment. Do you think it goes back to timing? Like, yeah, of course, but time? but I thought the way the way I was looking at it, I thought the shit was aligned perfectly. Like the moment was like there for the mm-hmm. taking. I just couldn't get in the building mm-hmm. for some reason. But whatever the case may be, I get home, um, and I just prepared for the next day. Right, mm-hmm. so Saturday comes. I'm leading up to uh to 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 get ready for therapy. And um, I checked the email and it's an address. So then I put the address in my car and I realized it's a neighbor. It's the therapy session is in a neighborhood that don't fuck with my neighborhood. So I'm like, oh man, shut up. This ain't this ain't right. And mind you, I got my blue tear shit on. So I'm like, I'm in, I'm in I'm in their side of town, but I'm from my side of town. So I'm like, I get there, I get to her office. And they were like, nah, she relocated to another office and it's like over here where 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 um I'm closer to. So I'm like, I bet that's a blessing because boy. Coming here every week. F- coming here every week. Yeah, gonna be looking at you crazy, <laughs> yeah. nigga. So I'm like, I bet. So I get there, and of course I get there um because I got to the first spot on like four, uh 15 minutes early because I wanted to be punctual, mm. but I got there on time. Uh, so it was like, you know, fill out this paperwork. But the first thing I realized is that each room has like this big ass diffuser and they're blowing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I think already, already know. I already know this is <laughs> the it. Last, this the first, vibe time, is the first right. time the nigga saw the diffuser, bro, this nigga spilled all the beans, bro. <laughs> that lavender shit. That shit, that shit. The, uh, every room had like this big, it's a Big, big, shit big shit, bro, and it's like it's it's like the size of one of those those Vicks humidifiers. That big shit, that big shit, and I'm like, yo, this is nice. And they got all their um the uh the oils, essential oils, essential. Oh, they got the uh, they got the lavender, they got the the citrus, they got the they got this shit called. She told me all about it. She was shit. It was so great. So boom. <laughs> so I go to her. Assistant 
office for what they call the intake, mm. right? And at first, I'm like, why am I not doing the intake with the therapist? So I was kind of like taken back by like, I don't, I don't like really... you before? It's kind of like that, right? Before. So the intake is this, right? Let me break it down. Mm-hmm. The intake is, you know... What's your name? How old are you? This, that, and the third, right? And then they start asking you questions like, um, are you sexually active? This, that, and the third. So when she said that, I said no. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> no. Um, that's kind of why I'm here. Don't shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, are you sexually active? Mm-hmm. This, that, and the third. Blah, blah, blah. How many, uh, who lives in your household? How many people live in your household? What are they to you? This, that, and the third. Boom. Then it gets deep. Mm-hmm. Like the intake questions get deep. They were like, "Have you ever been sexually molested?" And I said, "No." Right? And then boom, then she asks, "Have you ever sexually you molested, molested someone? someone?" And in the back of my mind, I'm like, "No." I, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I never sexually molested anybody. But you but, had to think. But about I it. had to think, think about it. Yeah. But like, it put me to a place like, "Damn, son. I probably didn't feel like that. that's 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 no, a, no, 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 mm-hmm. not even that. Mm-hmm. Damn, what do y'all do when somebody Says asks yes. yes? You know what I'm saying? Like. What 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 made now? Nah, like, what made you do that? Yeah, but it's like that's a, it, here I, I am. That, that gets crazy. And I even thought I told my therapist this. We had like a great conversation. Mm-hmm. I told my therapist, here I am coming with my little broken heart and shit. And y'all niggas might get some real shit like uh-huh. this. You know what I'm saying? And she was dying. She finds me funny, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga's happy, bro. I love this. Shit. She's fucking. She thinks I'm fucking hilarious, bro. So that's great, right? <laughs> so, so back to the intake. Mm-hmm. So now she's um. She's asking, like, have you ever been sexually molested? Mm-hmm. I said, no. Have you ever sexually molested somebody? I said, no. Have you ever thought about suicide? And I said, cool. What do you consider suicide? What do y'all consider suicide? Like, do y'all consider suicide? What if I said that if I got into the car accident and I died, I wouldn't have a kid? Is that, is that suicide? And mm-hmm. she was like... She was like, that may deem as a suicide thought, thought mm-hmm. but it's not really like a suicide like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jump. Oh, I'm a, yeah, I'm like, jump so I've never, train. I've never said, um, I'm going to take this knife and cut my wrist. Mm-hmm. I think I did that when I was young, but I think it's because my dad broke my Game Boy, like, on some wild shit. So I took a knife and I slashed myself and I was like, ow, that hurts. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not do this let's again. Let's not do this again. But as far as like an adult, like my adulthood, I've never got to that brink, but it's always been like, if a nigga died a day, fuck it. I ain't got to deal with it. Like, it's one of those... Uh, I don't want to deal with these problems, so if I... It's to be easy because life is hard type shit. Type shit. There mm-hmm. you go, right? Mm-hmm. So... Though I told her I've had those thoughts. Like there's times where after the accident, I've asked myself, "Yo, why am I here? Like I could be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't have to deal with anything no more. The fucking no pain, no nothing. No more bills, nigga. That's the fuck what I was thinking about. No more bills. And I could fly. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on vacation every day. <laughs> Laxing, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be some ghost, bro. But not nah, for real. So I've had those thoughts, like. Damn, if it ends today, it's like, I don't give a fuck. But so we, we kind of defined those lines and she helped me blur those lines. And then um, the question is becoming, why are you here? So I told her why I'm here and we broke down like situ. Uh, at first I did it. At first, I thought that the intake was basically to see if I'm at a mental state where therapy is enough or it might be more mm. so i used that i thought i wasn't going to see my therapist that day mm. i thought we was just she was going to just do the intake give it to my therapist and then we set up a schedule right mm. so sorry bro um so i said fuck it i'm already here mm. i ain't gonna get to talk to her but i'm gonna talk to your ass <laughs> so somebody go hit me today <laughs> i done looked too forward to this day to not talk <laughs> so no. listen you did ask the right one bro <laughs> So I did as did this. Now that you asked. <laughs> you just did it. You just did it. I did as did that. Now she started laughing. <laughs> she finds me funny, bro. <laughs> now that you asked, I, we, I just gave her like a quick rundown mm. on, on things of that nature, what I've been going through and why I'm here, what led me here. Mm. And she was like, you know, that's, um, I'm, it's normal. But she was like, 
what I don't want you to do. And she said what a lot of people do when they come in this situation, they kind of feel guilty for coming to therapy because to the person, um, it's like, don't let nobody make you feel guilty for picking yourself first. Mm -hmm. That's what she told me first. She was like, do not feel guilty that you realize that self-love was more important than you loving somebody else. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we, we in the right, <laughs> right place. <laughs> I'm home, baby. <laughs> Can I get a closet or something? I Makes like, one of us got closet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, boom. We, uh, I tell her that, and then she brings me into the... Um, into my therapist's office and she gives a rundown on like it's kind of like when you uh you ever been to the doctor's office and the nurse has has the chart and And they're reading it reading it uh hey how you doing yes uh uh, mr aline is uh suffering from heartbreak from women blah 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 not literally in that extent but like he has a broken arm broken wrist he may need this 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 and the doctor then talks to you so basically that's what she did right so she goes hey honey i said oh yeah (laughs) yes baby (laughs) So, so um, my therapist's name is Miss Davis. So Miss Davis goes, um, she was like, okay, so I'm hearing all of this. Tell me what's bothering you most. So I, earlier I alluded to something that uh, traumatized me this year, mm-hmm. and I finally shared it with her. And she, as a woman, she gave me both perspectives. Mm-hmm. She gave me, first, first, what she said that was so fucking important before she started talking, she said, I want you to be heard, so speak to me. I said, <laughs> fucking fuck. <laughs> she, I said, she laughed, bro. Yeah. She was like, she was like, why, why, why you said it like that? I said, yo, that's why I'm here, dog. <laughs> like, nobody listens to me, bro. So she heard me out. She didn't interrupt. She just, she stopped what she was doing. She was attentive. She was like, it was lit, bro. And when I say she had the mega diffuser, I couldn't stop looking at that shit because I'm like, yo, I want one of them shits, right? So she, she hears me out and then she tells me both perspectives. And then she tells me that um, she asks me about all my relationships, uh, starting with my mom my my sister, my dad, and then she was like, uh, give me your last uh, relationship that lasted over a year. What went wrong? So I tell her about it. And she goes, um, okay. She was like, what do you want to know? Like, what do you want? Do you want, do you want to, do you, do you, like, no, she goes, I'm sorry. She says, so I'm going to let you know how this goes. I am not a coddler. So if you think I'm here to tell you, you know. This is what I'm here for. Let's do it. So she was like, if you think I'm here to tell you, you know, LaShawn, you were right, or I understand where you're coming from, I'm going to tell you where you're wrong, right? Mm-hmm. So she goes, let me, are you open mm-hmm. to hearing? Because this is only going to work if you're open to see where you're wrong and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I said, yeah, of course, I'm open for that. So she tells me what, not what I went wrong, but how, you should. how I should have went about something else. Mm-hmm. So she gave me, and I always say there's always multiple ways to cut a cake. Mm-hmm. So if I'm cutting a cake horizontally, mm-hmm. she showed me the vertical way of cutting mm-hmm. it. And she was like, she gets that. So I told her our podcast and stuff like that. I told her my life got busy when, when I first started dating. Um, I was ready reserve, mm-hmm. and we was just audio. Mm-hmm. It was like it's the simplest shit ever. Yeah, like, we deal we, with that. Yeah, we didn't even have a G drive. We had like one of them little shits mm-hmm. and just plug that shit in and go right. So it was it was cool. Life was simple, and I'm like, for me, I thought that I had to focus on this to make something else work. Mm-hmm. And she was like, well, she gave me this whole um, <clears throat> what she gave me. Oh, man, y'all need to know that. Uh, sorry, Mama Davis. I call her Mama Davis now. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, she was like, you know, people put in time for what they want to make work. I don't believe in that, but I was open to hearing her way, right? Mm-hmm. So, she was letting me know that um, that uh, people make time for what, they, what they're most concerned about this, that, and the third, right? Cool, cool, fine. Then she was like, 
she told me about this time she had like a client that um his wife stepped out on him, right? And she asked him, what did he do wrong? I said, you said what to the man? And she said, oh, you one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I said, excuse me? What you talking about what he do? <laughs> what you mean what he do? He ain't split her leg. He ain't split her legs and told another man to enter. And she was like, she was like, boom. Let me break it down. She was like, what about the 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 part that he played in the neglect and this, that, and the third, blah, 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 not giving her the attention, da, 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 da. I said, I can see how that's possible. She said, yeah, how you think you always find somebody to move on to? I said, oh, she read me the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say less. <laughs> oh, say what? <laughs> say less. I was like, so, oh, so you use that to flip it on me. She was like, LaShawn, it's not that. Because I was like, yo, why do women feel like when I move on, it's, it's more of like them. She was like, nah, what it is is that you attract, you have a way of attracting what's missing in your life. I said, what? She was like, nah, like we have this energy. No, well, no, she didn't say energy. We have this way of like filtering out mm-hmm. what's missing. So we'll know, oh, I don't want that because I already have that for myself. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I kind of like attract every time I'm out of a relationship, a new relationship that not replace, but gives. That's what she said. She was like, you're not replacing them because I could tell that you like, you take your time to move on or whatever, but you, you, you're getting what you've missed out on. But I said, so why do I keep having the same problem with the, with the arguing thing and expressing myself? And she was like, you know what? Um, she was like, that's an, um, a new, that, that is something where we're going to get to over time, but we have to unpack. This is a lot of unpacking to do. I said, listen, I got my bags out front. <laughs> Whatever you ready, me start with what bag you want to start with. But then she asked me, right? She was like, LaShawn, do you have any questions for me? I said, baby, this is what I do for a living, my nigga. <laughs> so I was like, are you happy in your life? Mm-hmm. And she was like, absolutely. She was telling me like she has like um she has one child and she adopted two. And I was like, yo, I did an episode with a guy named Jeff Brown. We did Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. And we did um adoption and it's called the chosen one. You should check it out, blah, blah, blah. So then we kind of started talking about the podcast. And she was like, okay, so your podcast is your voice. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yes. I was like, My podcast is what I use my platform. And I was like, you know what's crazy? I was like, Mama Davis is like, I get like hundreds of listeners a week, but I still feel unheard. And she was like, because the right person's not listening, baby. I said, give me a hug. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a hug. (laughs) Come here. (laughs) Come here. Give me a hug. You do hugs? (laughs) And then um, she was like, she was like, I was like, it's tough knowing that I can speak to thousands and still don't really feel mm-hmm. heard. And it's not, it's not, it's not speaking, to, it's not even sometimes being heard. I think that's just the surface of it. That's like the first step, but being understood. Mm-hmm. Like I told her, I feel like I am the epitome of being misunderstood. Like I embody what mis being what um what it is to be misunderstood. So I was like, maybe it's me. Mm-hmm. It could be me. I'm open to realizing, like, yo. Maybe I don't got all the answers, you know what I'm saying? But I want to know different, <clears throat> what, what has life taught you and what is the textbook, what did life teach you and what the textbook taught you about communication? Mm. And let's, let's go through all the steps to see if I check everything off, you know what I'm saying? Because I could be wrong. So, or, or if I'm not wrong, teach me how to handle those people where it's like, I don't take on that burden of being misunderstood where I can say, I, you don't get me and it's okay. We're not supposed to get each other. You know what I'm saying? There's a million people on this planet, billions of people. I don't think we're all going to get each other. You know what I'm saying? But teach me the right strategies, the way to cope, the way to handle it instead of feeling depressed or like, so, oh, so one of the questions was how long does your depression last? And I was like, I don't feel like I've only like generally felt depressed after that five year relationship, right? 
So after that five year relationship, it was like that was my lowest. So I said, I'll tell them I have low moments, but mm. I've never been that low mm. since then, right? So I said maybe it lasts maybe the longest five days. And I'm like, I would like to cut that down. Like, what are some healthy tactics or whatever? And I'm like, I pointed out that, you know, I'm into diffusing and crystal things. And she was, she showed, like, she opened up this drawer, bro. And it was like diffusion heaven. Like, when I say fucking oils, like, you would have thought she was African selling these shits, bro. And I'm like, I bet. Like, I can learn from you outside of, like, the therapeutic. Mm -hmm. She was like, yeah, I'm not one of those who's going to diagnose you with anything. I am going to help you how to focus on and I'm like, yes, I'm in the right spot. So now my it's my turn to interview her, right? Mm-hmm. So I asked her if she's happy in life. And she was like, Yeah, she's happy in this, that, and the third. And I said, Do you go to therapy? And she cause I was like, um, I'm what, your seventh client for the day, and it's twelve o'clock, and you don't leave till six. Like how many like you got a lot of people unpacking like yeah and I'm like how do you unpack so she tells me that she goes to therapy too and she has a core group of therapists where they bounce ideas they bounce like things off of each other where they can <clears throat> unpack themselves so I said whatever happens when you get a client and you can't handle what they're telling you mm-hmm. and she said she has to try her best to keep it in because she can't. She she can't cry in front of them because mm-hmm. they might look at that as a side of weakness. I said, Miss Davis, if I ever cry and you gotta cry, cry with me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, mama, cry with me. And she was like, she was like, but with each, like, you gotta treat each client as an individual. You can't be like, oh, these are my group of clients. Everybody has their own needs and stuff. So I said, what if I see you in the street? Because she, she told me that by Bath and Body Works. Has a sale. I'm like, yo, like, what if I run into you? She was like, she can't speak to me, but if I speak to her, I let her know that the communication is like, so she really got to operate. Like, if she sees us on the street, she's going to walk past me because she can't break that confidentiality that she's my um, therapist, right? So, boom. That sucks. That's when I asked her. No, but she was like, I told her it's okay. Like, if you see me, mm-hmm. we can speak. Mm-hmm. I fuck with you. Like, I, li- I like this. <laughs> so, but most most of them, they don't do it, right? Mm-hmm. So, boom, right? Damn, that's kind of trig- That's kind of triggering for certain people, though. What do you mean? If certain people, like, if I see you on the street, if you're my therapist, I see you on the street, and I've been rejected and ignored my whole life, you doing that is just... Mm, but that's what she's saying. She got to she gotta know that it's okay with the client. Okay. She can't naturally just do that because right. of confidentiality, right? right? So I said, I bet. Mm-hmm. If you so confidential, what happens when you pillow talking at night? And you be like, yo, do I have to worry about... Yo, I got this client named LaShawn, this man heartbroken. Like, how I know you not in bed with your husband telling him? And she was like, you know... Is she laughing at this? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said, "Come on, man. I'm dead ass." So I was serious. I mean, I wouldn't care because it's like it's honest. Like who, yeah, who, sure, yeah. who don't who don't go home to they sin? Well, me because I ain't you know lonely. I got, <laughs> so who? Now nah, all jokes aside, who don't really talk to their significant other about whatever's going on, right? Because I even went home and my uh, my sister asked how they going. I told her, so it's like it's just natural, right? So, boom. She goes that what she does is that she doesn't bring work home. So she goes home, she parks in front of her crib, and it may take her up to 30 minutes to an hour to just sit there, just let it go, and leave it in the car it's till fine. it's time. So she doesn't even bring it home. And I was like, all right, I fuck with That's that. Fine. And I'm like, what, what else did I ask her? I asked her, um, you know, what made her get into this profession? Mm-hmm. And she... Um, she told me she's from East New York, so she's from around the way. And she was like, you know, she grew up in the streets mm-hmm. and she saw a lot of traumatizing things. And it led her to go to therapy. And she realized that her community needed the same outlet. Mm-hmm. So she went to school, she got, you know, she got her degrees and she opened up her own practice. Fine. So she owns her shit. Mm-hmm. Like, and I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Really, Damn, I really. With that nine I, years, though. That's not what, nine, six years? Yeah, Damn, so man, she got her shit. own practice. Mm-hmm. And I asked her, are you close to retiring? Mm-hmm. Because I remember speaking to Kojo and Kojo said he was doing um, therapy, but his therapist retired. 
And I'm like, I don't want to get into the habit of building tired. this relationship and you about to dip. So I felt that was important for me to ask. Mm-hmm. Like, are you close to retiring? And she said, no, nah, she's going to die doing this. She has another job. She works for the city. She says she, she owes the city five more years. But after that, like, she's going to take this on full time. Back to so so she's about her shit too, and I'm like I I, I can really I'm really like content on Mama D, Mama D, right? My therapist, and one of these days, like when we get into the habit and to start talking mm-hmm. and shit like that, I'm going to ask her to to come on the show. I'm gonna ask her straight up because I would love to ask her more things about like. Mm-hmm. The, the therapist side of it, not mm. not more the clientele side. Mm. You know, you, that's your that's your joint. But mm. like the therapy what side deal, of what it, what you deal with, what how you do you deal how with, do you, what do you take away from certain shit? Now, when you left, when you left that office, what was like? How did you feel, bro? I felt so Sunday. <clears throat> I felt like this pain, like this heavy ass pain. That's on right. my chest. The day we recorded. The day we recorded. Like I was too. I was just mad, like down and out, right? Mm-hmm. And at first I didn't know what it was. And at that time, I still didn't know. But then when it hit me, like, yo, what it really is, I'm like, I right, bet. Alright. So Sunday, I felt like she took it off. Oh no, she didn't even take it off. She allowed me to release it. Mm-hmm. Like when her office, when I say off the 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 smell, the aroma alone is so calming, bro. Like so, so, so. Like you literally go in there, and you like, whew, whew. you know what I'm saying? But I left there, I left there feeling lighter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga went to it. <laughs> nah, for real. I left there feeling lighter. I left there ready for the next one. Mm. I'm I'm excited. I think after so that was just the intake. Mm-hmm. That was just the intake, and I think that that counted the first as the first session. I did ask her that, mm-hmm. and she said yes. I was fucking tight, but I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. We was there, so she did tell me her 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 sessions are forty five minutes. Oh, I move. wanted an hour. I really went in there with an hour, but I knew if it was thirty, I was gonna say no mm-hmm. because. The way I talk, mm-hmm. like, uh, one conversation may lead to another, another mm-hmm. and then maybe we may have to come back to the other, my first point. So I know the way I talk. I don't know if 45 minutes is enough, but and what, what, and I, to- like, I told her that. I told her that. I was like, you know, 45 minutes may not be enough. And she said, this is what I'll do. Here's my personal number. If you ever have a moment before sun- Saturday, call me. It won- I won't let it count. Just... I know, Mama, Mama I D. know, I know. She was like, <laughs> I go for a God working in your favor, bro. I was, she was like, just call me. You know, I may be at my other job. Hit text me first, and she was like, I'm available. Like, just let me know. You need to get like. Clearly, I could tell that you're the you're the strong friend. Mm. Cause she was like, why don't you talk to your guys about certain mm. things about this? And I'm like, I don't know if they're in that space or capacity to even put that burden on or if they can handle it because the times that I have is more of like and it's no knock to them but the way they cope mm-hmm. is on some like yo let's fastly move on like mm-hmm. like you know the whole we out yeah. I don't want to go out like that's not even my thing like I go out and sleep in the club I can sleep in my bed bro for free my, for free well I ain't wait for free <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> For free, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why not Why not do that? You know what I'm saying? So that there, my, my, the way my brothers and my boys choose to cope with shit, it don't always align with how I want to come. Sometimes I'll go in their world, but it's like deep down inside, like I know I, I want to be, be, I don't want to be here. So she was like, all right, so I can see that you hold on to a lot. And even when you do your podcast, you know, you still feel heavy. So it's like, you know, just let me know. Like, everything is not going to happen. Something may happen Tuesday, Saturday, maybe too far away. You don't have to feel like you out of weight. Just, you know, you could talk to me. You could text it out. You could vent this, that, and the third. And her being so available and so open was enough to to have me enter it mm-hmm. and feel secure. Like, mm-hmm. I feel, like, safe, Talking to her now, without the um the job itself paying for it, did you ask her the rates? No, no, because what Tyra did tell me is that um, 
what Tyra did tell me that after after um they use the sessions up. The sessions up, there's a discount. So I still don't have to pay full price. And she also told me with my regular insurance, I can, I can, my copay is like really high, low. Mm-hmm. So it may be like anywhere from like thirty to forty dollars after uh whatever my deduction is. So it to me, <clears throat> I'm just grateful that like my job has provided oh, wow. an outlet. I need, I need some benefits. I need some benefits, bro. I hold you. So um, nigga like me need some therapy in these streets, bro. So yeah, that so, that yeah. My fault. Um, <clears throat> did you tell your mother and your father? I haven't told my father. I don't really. Um, she she asked me. She asked me why don't I tell my father certain things? And it's like um, that was one of those unpacking moments that I just won't share here. Mm-hmm. But I haven't told him. Um, when I told my mom, she was like, "Cool." She was like, "Yeah, you do need to speak to somebody," mm-hmm. but. When I got it out of that five year joint, she was like, "Nah, you don't want nobody to like know that you was in therapy and like have that on your record." She was like anti against it. She was like, "Yo, just pray your way out of it." And this time, I knew that if she was gonna say pray your way out of it, I was gonna tell her God told me go to therapy. God, God put you in that position. Yeah. So it's like this. So I wasn't, but that's not the and that's not the response she gave me. She gave me like, "Yeah, I think I think you should go because clearly." You, I can tell when something's wrong with you, and when we ask you what's wrong, you tell us you're fine, but we know you're not fine, but we can't force you to talk. So maybe this person, this is an unbiased person. This person has no, she don't know me, and she don't know who I'm talking about, so she can give me unbiased opinions. Your mother asked you if you're okay. Um, lately, she has, but... um, That's still fire, though. It stemmed from... It stems from... The last... Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. So, th- like, when it comes to my parents or my household, they don't really know anything mm-hmm. until I say something because I'm not one of those people who, like... Like, I understand the concept of family not being as forgiving. Mm-hmm. So, like, I can tell my mom... Or, you like, like say you stole from me, mm-hmm. Right? And you stole from me out of desperation. Mm. And you're like, yo, bro, like, I was going to get it back. I just needed it. I'm sorry, this, that, and the third. Mm. I forgive you for it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I tell my family that, yo, it's though, yo, watch who you around, this, that, and the third. Mm. They don't love you like I love you. They, 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 matter of fact, they love, they're more concerned about me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Looking out for me than opposed to... To you, so I'm one of those people where like I try not to talk down on anybody else, especially if I have love for them because the people that I talk down on them about it may not be as forgiving Mm -hmm. as me. And once you plant that seed, it's right. So then it's like, yo, you you like say you and your girl get into a fight, you tell your family, but you I want to see it again. They bring her around and then give her a cold shoulder. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and then you like, why are you doing that? But in all actuality, they just kind of concerned for you. They want what's best for you. So I kind of get that. But um, yeah, I, I I finally made the choice of happy for you, choosing me over everybody else, mm-hmm. and I, and I feel good. And I'm not. You look more let, happy. You look more. I'm me. not gonna let nobody like guilt trip me or like um. So you feel like you got more like less weight on your shoulders? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for are sure. Are you are you gonna like um write down stuff? Um, you know? basically. So technically, that was the intake, right? Mm-hmm. After the first session, mm-hmm. where it's just like, I right, the introduction is gone. You know my name. You know my story. Let's see how you. Let's see how this flows. Mm-hmm. Cause some I want to be like so honest. Like, I want to tell her everything that I said. I'm not filtering. I could curse. I feel comfortable cursing with her. I can tell her everything. So it's like, it's raw. It's, it's raw, uncut. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's no, not November, bro. Let's just keep it going. It's, it's triggering raw. words. It's raw. It's uncut. It's, it's not. It's not filtered. I could be real with her. And... She could be real with me back because she speaks my language. You know what I'm saying? She's she's a Brooklynite. She she's from she's not far from where I grew up. So she understands 
everything. She she has the book smarts and she has the street smarts to go with it. So I, I felt like I'm talking to somebody who who knows me or who knows where I'm from, my environment. Would you um recommend it to your parents? <laughs> uh maybe my mom. I don't know. I don't know if my dad would be even open to going to therapy. But she did tell me. She did at she did say if I ever wanted to like bring bring, them, bring one bring somebody from my past or somebody I'm dating or, or a friend or, or somebody in, I could bring them in. So say me and you are butting heads, right? Mm-hmm. She was like, bring them in. And y'all get to talk it out. And she said it would count as my session. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't have to worry about it. She was like, yeah, we have couples therapy. But she was she was also telling me about the couples thing because I mentioned that how I found out about um, uh, the program was my homegirl was doing couples therapy. So she was like, if she learns too much about me, she can't do the couples therapy because she's already heard so yes, much I'm one-sided saying. things. So we didn't come in together on some like okay. me and Dom want to talk about our... I work in relationship. Mm. She already so she's already heard two or three sessions of my side. Mm. So now she's gonna come in thinking, okay, it's let's wait, show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She would need three sessions of mm. your side, and then for us to, you know, what I'm saying. So I understand how fair that is. But she was like, she all her her, her staff mm. that I've seen thus far is all black women. Like excellence, love it. Uh, the front desk is a young lady. I mean, she looks like maybe she's in her teens. Black woman, her assistant, black woman, the couples therapy, black woman, the uh, the um the person she she opened up her practice with, her partner, black woman. So it's like black women thriving. Now, did you ask her how many um black women does she have as clients? Like, no, I didn't get there. Yeah, I didn't really. I was I was more concerned about yourself? like myself huh? than to like ask about her clientele. But, but other, um, did you ask her any? But other? the person after me, mm-hmm. like literally, person who had the appointment right after me. Was a black woman, so I I I know that she takes black women for sure. Well, my brother, I'm glad you're going. I'm glad you, you took this route, man. Man, bro, it was I'm a long time coming. Facts, twenty eight years, bro. I knew that by thirty, I had I could I couldn't be, I couldn't get older. Or I knew for sure I didn't want to go into the new year like like this. Just having too much weight on your shoulders, yeah. my nigga. Like for I'm, sure, I didn't pack anything. It's like yo, okay. We're For sure, again. and then she was telling me that it's um she's gonna she's gonna tell me that there are there are people in my life that I need to like not get closure with, but like hash things out mm-hmm. or like speak to or like you gotta release that you got. But she, yeah, she I told will. her before I do that, you know, I want to learn the right and way. She gotta give me the tools. To, yeah, yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? Because the way I'm going, I'm going with it. I feel like sometimes I'm bringing like what is a pen to a knife or, mm-hmm. or uh. What it was the saying like a knife to a gunfight mm-hmm. or some shit like that, and I feel like that's what I'm doing. But it's like I feel like when I express myself mm-hmm. to people, they I'm not I'm not your opponent. Mm-hmm. You know I'm not your enemy. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not we're not at Opposition, war. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like we're not at war. I'm just people have to learn that if with any type of relationship you have to be able. Mm-hmm. To hear, not even cr- criticism, but like you have to be able to hear about yourself. Mm-hmm. But a lot you know people, what I'm saying? A lot I can't. Defensive, how am I gonna talk to you about everything in the world except mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like I know me. When people uh, talk to me about me, I may, you know, it may be a harsh reality to hear, mm-hmm. but it's like I'm not ever looking at it. Oh, you attacking me mm-hmm. because. You know, a place of concern and love isn't always like yeah. the softest gesture. It depends. It depends how you um. And this is the biggest post. thing I said to her. Sorry, bro. That's okay. I told her straight up, be honest with me. Do you follow your own advice? Because if you don't, I want to leave. Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Yeah, I'm never going to tell you anything that I haven't applied in my life, and I'm going to tell you how I applied it. I'm going to tell you where I went wrong. I'm going to tell you this, that, and the third. Because what I realized, I can't take advice." From people who don't follow their own shit. Mm. So, I know you got a saying that it sounds good, right? So, when you tell me something and it sounds good and it's like, I bet, yo, bro, keep pushing, keep thriving, this, that, and the third. But then when you get in that same position I'm in, 
you're not doing anything you just told me to do, then you just you just told me a bunch of shit that that sounds good. Mm-hmm. So I'm not following advice from anybody who doesn't f- like I'll take it and I'll use it, but once I realize that you're in that position that I am and you got to use your own advice and you don't, then I'm never going to take what you say to 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 heart again. Because some it, people forget all of that advice, bro. You just gotta like, I ain't go front. The fucked up part about it, you gotta tell them again. One more. You gotta like, if I tell you something like, oh, do this, do that, whatever. Yeah, and I'm gonna and, like, and I forget it because I get in that situation. Like my mind just goes blank, and you just tell me it back. It's like, oh shit, you all right? Yeah, but, but you better, you better fight. Like you better do yeah, once it. Oh, uh, don't give me, me no excuse why you can't do it, but you wanted me to do it. No, do the shit you told me you was gonna do. You right? Being a person of your word. Yeah, for sure. Like. How you telling? How you telling me? Like that's like a like a nigga giving me cooking advice. But when it's time to cook, them niggas don't know what the fuck they doing. Like what? What are you talking about? Like how you just told me to do all of this, or you critiquing my food, and you can't cook. So you know how to eat? You fat ass, <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> like you make something. You know what I'm saying? Like oh oh or I'm hungry. Oh you you a man? You need to know how to uh. You need to know how to cook this, that, and the third, but blah blah blah. And then when it's when it's your when the foot shoe is on your foot, yeah, you, I need a woman you who eat, you eat straight peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Nigga, and I like that shit for breakfast, but for dinner, lunch, Seriously? snack, nigga, fuck yeah. out of here, bro. So nah, man. Okay, like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna look for that shit too, though. But I'm gonna wait until I get the um, I go through the proper channels, bro. Yeah, yeah. Know, so, so the the first step, I took the first step. Mm-hmm. And I guess the second step was like the intake process. Mm -hmm. So that intake process forced me to realize what am I really here for? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I think that's the most important step of like going to therapy, knowing why why you're there. Mm -hmm. Like I know why I'm here because there's a there's a disconnect with me and important people in my life that um, is just not being received. In a way I would like, mm-hmm. and until then, it's it's um it's an uphill battle, mm-hmm. but nonetheless, it will get achieved, and I'm hopeful for it because I got like 14 free sessions. This nigga LA is going through some great things right now, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all give him a round of applause. <laughs> hey, thank you, brother man over there. Um, you know what I want you, um, ladies and gentlemen, to do for me, please. Um. Tag Charlemagne the God in this. Facts. Um, we got to get this guy up here. Facts. I actually want to get him up here after this episode. That would be that fire. That would be fire. That's what I was thinking about the whole time. That would be fire. That would, um, because we do it by, you know, you know, um, it's a good list. You understand me? We do this, um, we talk about therapy. Then he comes on here, talk about the, um, PTSD and, um, all the other things he talked about in his book. I got some questions for that nigga, boy. Yeah, it's going to... Hit that nigga. I got this like... I ain't going to front. Two people I really want to interview. I ain't going to front. I want to interview another uh, a rapper. Big Sean. You know what? I don't want to be judgmental, right? Mm-hmm. But um, I seen like Janae comment under his shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like... Is there is there like <laughs> let's 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 address the elephant in the room, right? Mm-hmm. Are we self afflicting ourselves by getting back with toxic people? Yeah, bro, Nick, but niggas love that toxic yeah, he's, shit, he's, bro. He's, look at Ray, he ready to jump? Do you? Like, <laughs> 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 nigga, nigga, Ray, do a double dutch again. <laughs> relax, relax, Loke. I'm, I'm chill. <laughs> but I think I think there's a thrill in it. Yeah, because bro, nobody wants. My nigga, nobody wants food without seasoning, bro. You don't want your shit to be bland. Relax. We ain't talking about that right now. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> I, I want seasoning. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> nigga, said, nigga said it got to be a little tangy. I got a little... <laughs> That's that thing. <laughs> oh, say less. Say less. <laughs> so go, on, go on, talk, bro. But nah, like... Granted, I'm all for, like, reuniting with, like, you know... Because sometimes you, you, you... At a moment... You and a, a significant other may realize, you know, y'all may want the same thing, but going about it two different ways, mm-hmm. right? But from what I took from it, mm-hmm. from from Sean's perspective, is that, you know, whatever relationship they did have or do have, it got so unbearable mm-hmm. that they broke up. He focused on his mental health. 
she focused on her mental health. And even in her music, you could kind of tell that she has some issues that she projects onto him. Like, what's... what's that triggering... What bro? What, you know what I'm saying? What was her song? I'm like, yo, yeah. Bro, some, of cannot... the, some of the some of the some of the some of the music is is kind of toxic mm-hmm. in a sense, but it's enjoyable. Mm-hmm. So I could only imagine if her if her messages can be toxic, and I don't want to come off judgmental, but this is just how I how mm-hmm. I think about the situation. If her messages is toxic but enjoyable, imagine the relationship. Now, are you moving yourself from women that listen to this and live by this? By her music. So like listening is one thing because I listen to it. I listen to Summer Walker. You know what I'm saying? And Summer Walker. But live by it, like oh. Now living energy. by energy. Like they they post that song energy. I should be asking you that question, nigga. <laughs> should, questions for the wrong nigga, bro. Rain, rain, <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> I, I was dead ass, my nigga. When LA is laughing. trolling me, bro, stop laughing. Well, I'm nigga. not trolling. You're not here to. We're not here to know. I should be asking you that question. Listen, why don't people talk about? That's what I'm saying. This is why I don't feel heard, bro. This is a prime example. Don't put this on me. It's not funny. Stop laughing. You're the reason why I'm in therapy, dog. That's not funny. That's not funny. I'm done doing this. Nah, it, you answer that question. I think you. No, all, all jokes aside, you're the one. You're the one more closer to that than I am. Do you? Do, are you able to see that? Is that something? That they just enjoy but don't project, or do you see it as Look, it's a possibility that they can project? Nah, for me personally, it's just music they enjoy because I don't, I don't feel, I don't get that like the whole mm. toxicity shit. I don't, I don't get that. Like it's pretty chill. Like I don't all of that. Oh, I'll stab that nigga. All that extra shit. Yeah, I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I, some and of I, that, and I do, I've, and I've, I do, and I do call the authority, so it's all good. Facts. I'm a civilian in these streets. I ain't no game banger. Facts. Um, but I yeah, will, I will get you locked up. Yeah. So me, I just see it as they enjoy, but sometimes you gotta give it, like you gotta, you gotta let a situation arise. Mm-hmm. To see how that a person yeah. really the, the the real like how do they conduct themselves during a disagreement, mm-hmm. you know? Like when when the emotions are really flaring. Yeah, right. Are they gonna disrespect you? Are they gonna you know curse oh, at you? Or they like and and then sometimes you like oh so this is who you really are. Imagine a woman that you, a woman disrespecting your parent. Oh no! God bless. I don't say I don't, less. Ain't no saying. You ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Say less, but um, yeah, man, I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna tap into some therapy soon, man. Whenever um, I go through those channels and I get that um, you know, whenever God puts that in my lap, you get me um, but I'm very happy. Well, what 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 uh what Adrian said look, about but, things uh, if things fall in your lap, it gotta pass your face. Not this time. <laughs> Not in this face. It's saying it's saying a chair. Man, I, I need something to pass my face. I'm a Davis. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo. Well, the session's over. Man. I Davis. got so tight, bro. What? So I go to work, right? And and everybody's like, yo, bro, your beard, bro, your beard shining and it's looking like it's coming in and your beard is growing. You must be eating some good pussy. Nigga, no. <laughs> no. Webin could Webin could hear. You have been Kadeem. Nah, and, and, and who else? Somebody else. But Kadeem, I mean, now Webb Web was like, yo, bro, like, you must be eating some good pussy. I was like, yo, bro, I haven't ate anything. He was like, oh, so you elevated the ass. I said like, Dominican shit. I be telling niggas I'm doing that shit. I'm like, nah, bro, like, we not gonna, we not gonna give this, this, this bed credit to imaginary pussy, man. Like, <laughs> there ain't no pussy getting ate. You know what I'm saying? I'm starving. <laughs> Thanksgiving come, coming home. <laughs> so we starving these streets, B. Yeah, but, man. Um, yeah, man. I'm. I don't know what else to say today. Um, I nah, it. I mean, go through the process. You know, understand that. Um, you gotta love yourself. You got. You got to. It gotta. It gotta come to a point where you stop prioritizing mm. everybody's happiness, everybody's mental health, everybody's. Because my therapist told me that I am no good to anybody if I am not good to myself, mm-hmm. and I and I mean that. And I'm like, like I know how I am when I when I'm all in in any situation, but it's like it's time that I I put the chips on myself. Like I'm a bet on myself. I'm a bet that 
that these next 14 weeks and you know I'll give you know I'll give like a weekly update on how it's going. Oh so she was like, she was like, um, she was like, when are you available? I'm like, I'm available whenever. She was like, I'm an early bird. I said I'm an early bird too. So she pulled my card. So my sessions are now Saturdays at six thirty in the morning, bright and early. But you be up at that time. Yeah, I do. But she's like, I hope she, really she she trying to pull my card to see like, cause she comes into the office at six. So I'm gonna be her first session from six thirty to seven. Ooh, you fresh? Yeah, oh fresh. yes, sir. I'm gonna be her first session from six thirty to seven fifteen. So it's like. I bet, like, and then you know what I'm gonna do after that from 7:15. After I'm finished with gym. therapy, I'm gonna go to gym. the gym. Oh, so it's like, my you know boy's gonna be feeling good. Really, and really. then, and oh, then, and then oh, bet. So then, so then I got. I'm gonna do the little, the little. My my sat my Saturdays. I'm gonna do a lot of self care shit. I'm gonna go to therapy. I'm gonna work out. We'll probably record on Saturdays too Dude. now. And then I'm gonna do like the new candle with the Espen salt with the lavender shit. So I could just I'm gonna be a big baddie. sexy. <laughs> big sexy. <laughs> nah, but um. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be a big sexy. Yeah, I'm gonna be a big sexy. Nah, but for a lot of people, bro, if you can't afford therapy right now, you can't find a way to go through that. Um, start writing shit down. Like I know niggas be joking yeah, about be journaling. niggas be joking about the little diary and journal shit. Nah, you should what, really uh, do that shit. Amazon, bro. Amazon, I think it's Amazon. What? No. I just, I just put shit in my notes. Though. Amazon got the uh Target. It's either Target, Amazon, or Walmart got one of these this 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 four pack journals mm-hmm. for each thing in your life that's going on currently. Like it's really dope. Like a journal for when you're feeling really good, a journal when you're feeling down, a that's journal right. for when you're feeling depressed, and a journal when you're feeling it, Anxious Cause I'm like That's important to me Cause sometimes my journals Are so cluttered With mixed emotions mm-hmm. That I'm emotional So I need to divide My journal spaces Into like The proper library I hope I hope there's more Happy moments Than um sad moments At this point Yeah 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 For real Cause you can only go up From here man Yeah man We gotta stop We gotta stop um Basking in this Fucking Not basking But being in these Dark moments For so long bro Like that whole you in a fucking depressed mode for weeks, bro. That shit, shit takes away from a lot of shit. You don't want to, you don't want to do creative shit for a while, like. Mm-hmm. Cause you don't want to go out and it's, it's like, kind of tough recording when you're like but, stuck like that. Cause been, I feel like we project that, that. Shit, yeah. Cause even though we're talking here, mm-hmm. people listen to that and our words are entering their ears mm-hmm. and minds and like. I want to be more conscious that I don't want to like yeah. send my depression or my, Once, my yeah, listeners through the through the airwaves. You know what but I'm saying? We 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 usually we say stuff like this so y'all could see that yo. Like I don't know why people think like niggas like, we not fucking humans, bro. Like, we not going through shit like mm-hmm. niggas see us like oh these niggas is always happy now, nah, bro. We still go through the same bullshit, but we come here. Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Most times we leave this shit happy, bro. Sometimes it's like. Life is just so yeah, last, hard. It's like last you gotta, episode we left that shit kind of. Yeah, but so the fucked up part we was laughing like a motherfucker though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got, you got laugh. Yeah, that bro, shit. you got. That's the fuck. You got laugh through that shit. But if you don't laugh, you are gonna cry, my nigga. But I said to say this. I appreciate all y'all for subscribing, liking, commenting, doing shit I do every week. Facts. We appreciate Lashawn. We appreciate um Rain in the building. We appreciate Ray. We appreciate all y'all. Um, another month. We gonna knock out this year strong. Um, happiness over depression. Hopefully, I get to knock some. Um, <laughs> this thing keeps talking about sex on a on a Sunday. Oh, who said? Who said I'm talking about the sex, man? Oh, God, God, Yo, 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 you can't. We not, we not about to game a prostitute. That's what we not going to yeah, do. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, um, do that. you can't do that, bro. You got biases. But, but, bro, um, follow me on Instagram on them things, bro. Yeah, you um, can follow me at Stay Focus LA on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, rate, and share to What's a Good Guy. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Uh, Just do it. It's mad simple, bro. Share it on the timeline. Share it on your Insta story. Retweet it, bro. Like, share yo, it on your Facebook. Y'all putting niggas on. Like, y'all helping us get on. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow the What's a Good Guy page Facts. on Instagram and Twitter. Because we definitely have way more listeners than we do followers, and that may be natural. That's, That's cool. cool. But and you know, don't forget. Yeah, I think it's that inspiration episode. I don't know what the fuck happened. Facts, but yeah, keep was, it up like that because yeah, that was that was dope to see. That was dope. That to see. shit hit a band mad easy, dude. Like it's fucking amazing. You get me? So but, um, yeah, yeah, don't forget to do all of that beautiful stuff, man. Um, and it means a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, we say we say we appreciate y'all, but we really do appreciate y'all from day one till now and. So whenever, um, 
Yeah, Don Peasley on and all the platforms. And, yeah, um, stay focused, LA. And um, have a have a blessed day. You know? Facts, man. God is good.